Happy Friday souls everybody, it's Marie again and it's weekend and it's time for Friday souls, a look back at my week of sewing and of anything else that I might have been up to. Thank you for joining me and I hope you've all been well. Um, I've just been doing the washing up and I think I've dipped my sleeve in the water, it's a bit soggy but anyway I've started so I shall carry on now. Um, yes, what do I have to tell you this week? Well, um, at the weekend that's just gone, I was not, for some reason, just didn't feel like sewing, which is unusual, I guess, but we get days like that. So I did a lot of cutting out, and if you follow me on Instagram, um, you might have seen this picture where I had done some cutting out of fabrics that were sitting there um, waiting. So they're all knit fabrics and since I cut them out, I have made decent progress with them. So let me start by showing you what I did. So the first one I did um, was a bit of an experiment, but I have to say I'm very pleased with how it turned out. So let me start earlier this year. Do, do you remember this? This is a Mandy Boat tee that I got horribly wrong and I laughed at the time because there are three pattern pieces, front back sleeves, um, and managed to mess up perhaps one of the simplest items of clothing that I've ever sewn. So um, partly I think it's, it's drafted to be a lot bigger than I had even thought and also I'd chosen the wrong fabric and so I refashioned that into uh, a different t-shirt and that was fine, I was happy but in the back of my mind I was not prepared to give up on the Mandy Boat tee because apart from the body not being right I really liked the way it fit along the neck so I did um, have had some scrap knit fabric and I did a bit of a a botched up toile, I had to sew pieces together down the middle, but I just wanted to get the fit. And I got a fit that I quite liked. So I thought, right, let's try it with something, you know, some proper fabric. And I had been shopping in um, Leon's, just near me, and picked up a while ago this, um, just let me show you, this kind of chenille type sparkly uh, sweater knit fabric with some green shot through it. They also had it in um, a, with the grey in it and I think the other one was like an orange tone. I got this because it's green. Um, I thought when I got it the green was a more greeny, a bluey green than the olivey lime green that it is there but it doesn't matter. Um, so I thought, right, let's make a nice slouchy sweater um, for the colder months and also because it's a bit sparkly, um, that it would be quite nice if I do end up going out anywhere that's kind of casual but might need wrapping up a bit. Well, when I opened out the fabric to cut it, I'd, I'd got a metre and a half um, because I... I don't know why I got me usually a meter isn't enough and I had an idea that I wanted to do maybe a bat swing sleeve or a dolman sleeve and I thought I'd probably get a meter and a half so I got a meter and a half and when I got it home it's really wide it's about 65 inches wide um, which was loads more than I was expecting so I thought you know I can make a dress so I've made a dress um, it is a Mandy Boat dress. Oh, the alterations that I made, I used, it comes in sizes one to four. I made the opening of the neck slash um, a two because if I made it bigger, it starts to fall off my narrow shoulders. So I made a two and then I cut the four everywhere else on the shoulders and the sleeves are a four and under the arm and as far as the bust is a four and then from the bust down 
I graded it down to a two and it's still plenty big enough um, over the hips and the tummy at the size two so that shows you how big it was before. Um, I'm kind of copying um, a, a sweater dress slash tunic top that I had a few years ago from a high street store um, which I'm now I know it's stretchy I still have it but I feel uncomfortable in it um, and also the fabric's a bit scratchy because it's got a lot of lurex in it but the pockets of those of the ready to wear had a little bit of um, pleather on it and I had some in my stash It the right way around for you oh the sun's come out you can see all the sparkles um so i've just topped the pocket that i added um with a little bit of this pleather now oh, it's a bit fluffy to sew with i agree but i just quite like the way um that it's finished off that dress so i'm delighted with that now it's i just need it to i don't need it to get cold but it's just a little bit too warm um for wearing at the moment because our weather is I think it's quite mild for the time of year now we've complained <laughs> all through the year about the weather's not what we were expecting well I had that on to take the pictures of it and it was just a little bit warm so um that was my dress and then um a few weeks ago I saw the lovely Alex Judge Sews had a video where she had made for herself a gorgeous brown rusty toned sweater dress and the pattern that she used came with a detachable cowl for it and i thought it was such a fantastic idea i just can't believe i'd not seen it before so i just thought i wonder if i could just make one because it's essentially um a neck band but bigger um and the only thing you need to figure out is if you fault you've got to enclose your raw ends and, and and it's kind of like how to do it and in my head it was turning out like a scarf every time so anyway i took my fabric that i had left over because there was loads left off that dress still oh sun right in my eyes um and i had a go and so i cut out two pieces of fabric sewn them together and then pulled it through um, and then just finished it by hand. And so what I've ended up with is a cowl. I won't put it on properly because of the microphone. But as you can see from the picture, um, I've now got myself a detachable cowl, which I think is great. So I've got two looks for the price of one, really. I've got my slash neck Mandy Boat dress with pockets and i've got a cowl that i can put on and take off as necessary because i do blow hot and cold no matter what the weather so that's quite nice to be able to remove that if i need to so that was the first thing that i made from the fabrics that i'd cut out i'm just going to see if i can do anything about that sun oh i love it it's right in my eyes is that any better a little bit better yes so um then the other fabric that i'd cut out the purple one um is actually a sew over it heather dress so i have done my um as you can see i've done my sew over it heather dress um and it's in this really nice purpley marl uh, fabric that i also got from leon's so they've been I'm high on my list this time round. Um, it's it's really nice and soft fabric. Um, it's got pockets in the front, obviously. Um, for this one, I do struggle a little bit with getting so over its sizes right. Um, and I hadn't made one for quite a while, so I couldn't remember what sizes that I generally go for. But I ended up doing a, I think it's a 16 um i think i did a 16 all the way through but um the seam allowance even for a knit fabric is 1.5 centimeters and so i did on the seams at the front here 
I think I just took um, three eighths of an inch, a centimetre. Oh, excuse me, I took um, a centimetre there to give a little extra room across the bust. Um, to be honest, if I was doing this in any kind of couture sense, um, that's not really enough because the seams aren't in the right place. I, sh I probably need to uh, do a full bust adjustment on the side panels. But honestly, where the, these panels and they join the pockets here and then the front panel is all one piece, it was enough. It took me enough to shorten the parts to, to make sure it fits in the right place that way. So it's a sweater dress. It's not the end of the world. So I made that and then of course I've gone mad on the cowl necks now I had fabric left over one I've just dropped it on the floor one second so I made another one of these this fabric is slightly more um it doesn't feel more drapey but this seems bigger and I don't think I think I cut it the same size I don't know maybe I don't know anyway so now I've got two sweater dresses for the colder months both with cowl necks that I can remove if necessary and I just think what an amazing idea. One thing I did forget to do on both of those dresses though which I've just realised is I forgot to put labels in them. What a shame, never mind. <sighs> They've both got pockets in the front so it's quite obvious which way round is which. Um, and then the third fabric that I'd cut out I haven't sewn up yet I think those two were enough for this week um, but that's going to be um, a top and some like, jogging trousers just for lounging around in um, that's the idea so that's cut out and that's ready to go and that's for this week beyond that I have been doing some knitting in the evenings um, I've started knitting a Christmas gift so Although I don't know that anybody who might know anybody that I'm knitting for is watching, um, I'm not going to give anything away just in case you never know who knows who around here, do you? So I've took myself off to a little sneaky trip to the cinema this week where I saw the new James Bond film. So I used to love going to the cinema and I still feel hesitant about being in an enclosed space with lots of people so I didn't go when it first came out. Um, I waited a couple of weeks and then went to um, a smaller screen cinema on in the morning when there were not that many people in there. There were maybe about 12 people in a cinema that's way way bigger than that and everybody was nicely spread out. Not everybody was wearing a mask but um, but it felt okay being where it wasn't a packed cinema. I would have hated to have gone the first week. Um, film, re film reviews I do elsewhere, but I thought it was a James Bond film. It was fine. And I think it was a good way for Daniel Craig to leave. And part of me thinks they should just leave it there. I think the world possibly doesn't need another James Bond, even though the question is already who's going to be the next James Bond. So that's my two penneth for that. So there you go. You've had sewing and you've had film reviews and you've had a cup of tea. So that's it from me for this week. I will leave you here to enjoy hopefully a lovely weekend and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Take care.